look over here. I'm Charlie Window. I'm not in the mood for this. Can you please give me the next game? Oh, okay. I just wanted to let some light into your world. Can you give me the next game? Okay, fine. Don't be such a glass hole. <laughs> give me the next... Go get it! <laughs> Skylanders Imaginators. This isn't a crash game. Mm. Well, this cartoon says otherwise. Cartoon? You don't even know the half of it, mate. Oh, no. Extreme Rescue Mission! Oh, my God. What is this? I was on the Wampa Islands and about to free my friend Tana from the clutches of the evil Dr. Neo Cortex. Is this show trying to get a rise out of me? Because it's working. You can make a strong argument in favor of that show. You're getting a rise out of me, Skylanders. Yeah, oh, I'm angry. I'm rising, rising. I'm rising like a souffle. I'm sorry, but what in God's unholy pants is this? I don't care if this show is any good. Judging by this inclusion of Crash, I really don't care. Pure and simple, this is not Crash Bandicoot. This is not the point of his character. He's a mute dumbass meant to tribute other mute dumbasses in old Warner Brothers cartoons. To not only give him a voice, but a brain is completely missing the point. Crash is planning. He doesn't plan. He eats the things he's supposed to be collecting. This is going to be controversial, I know, but I honestly prefer prefer the horrible Crash 2 promo video version of Crash over this because at least Crash wasn't a fully established character at that point and he was still an idiot in that. <laughs> They could have used anybody here if they needed a character like this. It shouldn't have been Crash. Hashtag not my Banuka. But don't worry, these fever dream clips from the Skylanders TV show is not what I'm going to be looking at today. Instead, I'll be taking a look at the game that the show was based on. For those who don't know, Skylanders is a series of simple 3D beat-em-up platforming games in the Spyro mythos, kind of like Lego Star Wars in terms of style and feeling, except that it requires the use of a USB portal device in order for you to place different figures onto the portal and have them pop up in the game. Different figures have different abilities to get by different obstacles and unlock different secrets, and on its own, I don't think it's too offensive. It's a cute little idea. But in 2016, when we were constantly teased a crash game on PS4 after eight years of silence to then have sony go on stage and just mention casually oh yeah we're working on some remasters and then go off and show a trailer for a game which had nothing to do with crash directly but instead had him as a cameo with one additional level to that game felt like a little bit of a joke people were not happy about this announcement back then remember this was before we had seen anything to do with the insane trilogy and after all of the games that had spiraled crash off downhill this was crash's official ps4 comeback so to see him coming back on ps4 but in a children's toy collecting game was a bit of a bait and switch but hey at least the figures are pretty awesome i love these little things I also accidentally bought four. Before we get onto the Crash content though, let's take a look at the game as it is. The story of Skylanders Imaginators is that Spyro is having a race and then evil comes in and stops the race. And by the way, the character design of Spyro makes me wet in a bad way. So I guess it's now time for me to pick up my figures and place them onto the portal. <laughs> oh my God, it's magic. Look, look, look who it is from my toy. It's Crash <laughs> I've got to say, it's very bizarre to see Spyro and Crash running around together in a game that isn't... <laughs> but I welcome it. It looks weirdly natural here. And since we're in a beat-em-up, I really love how most of the moves Crash is famous for are translated into fighting moves that can be purchased with the coins that you collect. From super spinning to belly flopping and even sliding, it's all here, just not giving you the same utility as in the platforming game. I kind of like Crash here, honestly. I mean, he's a bit of a chunky monkey, but in this world and art style, he fits in quite nicely. Except for whenever you pause the game. <laughs> Crash, are you having a stroke? Your design, however... I'm sorry, your design is disgusting. Your face looks like a pug that was stung by a wasp, so I'm gonna switch over to Cortex and shoot some holes in it. <laughs> Throughout the game, you can activate different shrines to give the figures you have new moves to play with, and to be frank, I thought it would be a case of unlocking one universal move for an entire class of figure to use, but as it turns out, you not only get unique moves for each character of each class, but even a unique cutscene of them getting it. This is a level of effort I can respect here. So this is called the Mysterious Ancient Place. And you have a mysterious ancient face. Oh, and before we carry on, I just wanted to mention how cool this little feature is. This here is a gem figure. And not only does it light up when you place it on the portal... I like the pretty lights. But it also allows you to create and store your very own Skylander that has a specific class based on the coloured gem that you have. And this is as extensive as a bloody Bethesda game. Look at this. Individual body proportions, accessories, weapons, skin, and my favourite... 
the voice. Here's my hero. Do you like her? She's an armor-wearing, ram-horned snake woman with a fire bow, and I called her Fromage. A name that will echo through the ages. Fromage! So after we pass the first story stage, we're then let loose in the main hub world, which is when we then unlock the entire reason I picked up this stupid overpriced Playmobil set, the Thumping Wumpa Islands. It's its own exclusive level within Skylanders Imaginators with exclusive cutscenes and its own mini story to get through, featuring specialised obstacles and items, nice easy puzzles to break up the gameplay, and even the classic boxes to break for Crash. I have some news. Your old friend Spiral... What? You mean the one I threw Molotovs at? There's tons of Easter eggs, subtle nods and references to the older games, really pretty visuals, and a decent sense of humour to boot. Wow, the real Crash Bandicoot came all the way out here to see my prized great collection. So it sounds really great so far, right? Well, I'm afraid it kind of isn't. This is the slowest thing I think I've ever touched. And I touched the floor yesterday! Look, say what you want about the quality of the gameplay or the ethics behind Crash being in Skylanders after an eight-year gap of nothing. Regardless if you love or hate Skylanders, how can anybody be okay with the slug-like speed you move? Isn't this supposed to be a fast-paced action game for kids? I run pretty quick in the home world. What's going on over here? And I know this is for kids, but hey, the original trilogy were for kids too, and they were never this easy. You just run around and hit stuff with like two or three buttons while doing the occasional jump repeated ad nauseum. It really is baby's first beat-em-up, and that wouldn't be so bad except you move along as fast as cheese on toast. It doesn't matter what extra moves you purchase or whatever, you still end up doing the simplest button-mashing combos and nothing else. And often that's the best way to get past any combat encounter because the singular powerful moves that take a long time to wind up don't do as much damage as a quick 1-2-3 combo with your basic punches. And annoyingly, the slowness coupled with the repetitive simplicity is what ends up ruining so many more encounters throughout the game. At this point, you you don't have a guard, dash, or roll, just a run, jump, and attack. So tanking hits in big crowds is inevitable. Look, they all move faster than you, and in situations like this, there is nothing you can do other than die and swap out to another figure that you may or may not have on you. The only way to get your old character back being to quit the level or restart it. So I hope you have enough figures, kids, or else you'll need to steal mummy's credit card. This then becomes a huge problem when you're told only Crash Bandicoot can unlock this zone. But the problem is he got steam pressed earlier, which means means I would need to start my entire 30 minutes of playtime so far all over again in order to reach that point to open the door as Crash. While going through all of the sticky, running, enemy-smacking, property-destroying and puzzle-solving all over again. You know what this game reminds me of? Over the Hedge on the Xbox. And if you're reminding me of Over the Hedge, you're buggered it up! But this isn't what everyone wanted me to talk about, is it?